Just got fish busting out there, guys. Chasing a shad. He is all over that thing. Makes me want to tie a pop around. Today's video is brought to you by Liquid Willow Cat. Go to liquidwillowcat.com to see their full product lineup. All right, let's see if we can get one of those buggers. Whoa, that did not take long. It's that time of the year when we start to transition from open water fishing to ice fishing. Recent temperatures have got me thinking about finding some first ice and breaking the seal on an all new ice fishing season. I don't have any early ice action just yet, but I do have some unreleased footage of a smallmouth bass smash fest while popper fishing on the Mississippi River. This video was recorded in August of this year. Stick around, I think you're going to love this week's video smashing topwater smallmouth on Mississippi River wing dams. Don't go anywhere. There's one. Good fish. Crush that popper right on top of the wing dam. Oh, how can you beat that? What is it? It's a white bass. It's a white bass. Big fat white bass. I thought, I thought for sure that was gonna be a small mo. No complaints here. Nice fish. There's one. That's a smallmouth. No doubt about it. All you need to do is tie on a popper. I'm telling you guys, popper is the way to go for big smomo. And he's up. That was a nice fish, probably 16, 17 inch. Another smallie. He missed it initially and then just followed it up. Ah, oh, so much fun. Hey, they're busting. Hell, oh, another one came off on me. These hooks a little small for him, maybe. It's all right, long distance release, we call it. Plenty more where that one came from. Oh my. That thing hunted that bait down. Another great smallmouth. You could see him waking behind it. He missed it a couple times and came back for it. Great fish. Using my Radcliffe seven foot two Aspire rod with eight pound test. And this is working just perfect. There we go, beautiful. You use that heavy bass gear and you can just horse them right in, but it kind of takes some of the fun out of it.
There we go. Good one. Oh, they're so acrobatic. That's so much fun. That is a blast. This one is dogging me. Oh, that's a big fish over there. This is a good one too. I want whatever that was. On that popper, beautiful fish. The setup I'm using in today's video is a 7 foot 2 Radcliffe Customs Aspire Series spinning rod with an Abu Garcia Revo spinning reel spooled with high vis 8 pound mono from Stren. The popper is a Berkeley Bullet Pop in ghost white pattern. Smashed it. It's a better one. Oh. Smashed it. There we go. Beautiful. So I'm situated just upstream of the dam here. It's hard to see because the flow is down so much. But I cast out kind of... Uh, I cast out at an angle to the wing dam and then... Just kind of pop it and let the current kind of swing it out across the rocks. And it kind of keeps that popper right above those rocks for as long as possible. Whereas if you just cast straight over it and bring it back, you're not in the sweet spot for as long. Fish on. They are going crazy over here, guys. Back on the popper. It's a good, it's a good smallmouth here. There we go. Nice fish. They're gorging. To fish these wing dam smallmouth, I'm positioning the boat upstream and within casting distance of the dam. My casts are angled to the wing dam. This allows me to impart aggressive chugs to my popper while maintaining the popper's position close to the wing dam. Each pop pulls the bait forward, but the current repositions it back over the rocks for multiple strike zone chugs. On. Good fish. Good fish. Ooh. Pink. Pink smallmouth. They are fat and healthy. Beautiful.
good fish. <laughs> Another tank. Go fat there. Guys, this popper is just absolutely perfect size for these fish. It's almost exact size of what they're chasing out there. Same color. You skip that along the surface and man, you're gonna catch some fish. They can't resist. Up again. A good fish. Oof. Okay. big fish. It's a big small mode. It's my best one of the day there guys. Saw that one busting and he was all over a minnow and I got my bait in there. Got him. Oh, that's a big one. That is a bigger one. That's a gorgeous fish there, guys. Let him go. At this point in the video, you kind of get the program I'm fishing. It's a match the hatch program and it's working well. I hope you've enjoyed the video so far and continue watching as I head to another wing dam and continue to put more and bigger smallmouth in the boat. Fish. Giant smallie. Oh. Oh, it's so much fun. These smallmouth are just on fire on these poppers. There's a nice fish. Oh, come here, buddy. Respectable fish. fish. Oh. Ho, ho. Beautiful. Oh, 
gray fish, not a giant, but man, are they crushing it. Fish. Good one. You can see him busting, guys. You gotta get it right in there. Ooh, that's a tank. And they will hit it. Ooh. Choked it. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Fish. Tank. <laughs> Tanker. Big small mama. Ooh. Big small mama. Beautiful fish. Nice fish. That's fun. Thick in here. Oh. Can't beat it. So cool. And just choking that popper. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yourself good there, buddy. Oh. 
go, beautiful. went airborne on that thing. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the Smash Fest and maybe even learned something. Remember to check in often, as I will be releasing first ice footage as soon as possible. And as always, thanks for watching.